Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the gas pressure red data collector. This gas pressure red data collector can collect data over time or act as a simple pressure meter. It's a great accessory for teaching gas laws. I'll begin by showing you how easy it is to turn the gas pressure probe on by pressing the button at the bottom of the unit. Next, I'll touch the screen and it moves the data collector to the home screen. In order to begin measuring data, you want to push the green button on the home screen and you'll immediately begin to measure the gas pressure of the room. Currently, you can see the gas pressure in the room's 1.08 bars. The gas pressure red data collector can display and record in the units of bars, atmospheres, PSI, or kilopascals. Today, the experiment I'll be demonstrating is an experiment where I will attempt to determine the pressure necessary to make a Cartesian diver neutrally buoyant. Once I collect the data, I'll import the data into Excel so that it can be easily seen and analyzed. So to begin the experiment, I need to insert a USB drive into the port at the top of the unit. When you do that, you will see the green USB icon at the bottom right light up. Once I touch the red record button, I begin recording data. So I'll hook up my apparatus. What I'm going to do is try to align a mark on my Cartesian diver and on the outside of the bottle and hold it there. The more steadily I can hold it, the easier it will be to determine my average pressure necessary for neutral buoyancy. Okay, that looks pretty good. Before I stop, I'd like to point out another feature. If you press the button at the bottom of the unit, you can get a graph that shows what has happened so far. If you push the button again, you return to your record screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now push the blue button, which will stop recording. You will see the USB icon flash blue while it's writing to the USB drive. Once it turns back to green, it's ready to take out, put into your computer, and as you can see, we have a very easy graph. It's already come up. If you take the average of this range, that'll give you your pressure necessary to maintain neutral buoyancy. Thank you for viewing this video about the red gas pressure probe. 